Hey, it's Paul here from Abra TV and Vanish Magic Magazine. Today we're going to be checking out one product which is salted. There's two versions we're going to look at. This is the deluxe version and then the regular version which you can buy from any magic, mag uh, magic shop uh, by Ruben Villagraud. Let's check it out now. So as I said, there are two versions. You get the regular version and the deluxe version. Either version is great. Um, as somebody who loves the salt pour and uh, performs it, uh, this is, I think this has changed the way that I do salt pour. Uh, this is the deluxe version, which we'll go over in a minute. But let's look at the regular version you can buy from any magic shop. This is the one put out by Vernet Magic. Now, Vernet are fantastic. Their props are always well made. And, uh, and, and, and certainly with this gimmick, it's extremely well made. Both the gimmicks are the same. In other words, the gimmick in here and the deluxe version are the same. You just get a lot of extra pieces with the deluxe version. Um, Ruben, uh, here you're going to get inside the box, you'll get the actual gimmick. And you actually get a really nice, which I'm not going to show you, but you get a nice little funnel as well. The funnel is to uh, put the salt in. And then you get the download link and you get some other accessories that uh, Ruben talks about in the DVD. So everything is really nicely packaged. The gimmick is super well made. Uh, the gimmick, what makes it different uh, than any other salt pour? Well, it enables you to do a lot of different things. First of all, it enables you to uh, use something other than salt. And I think this is the biggest, there's a couple of really big things about this over any other version. And one of the biggest things that Ruben shares, and I think this is the best advice, is don't use salt. The audience will think it's salt, he shows you what to use, and the reason he doesn't use salt is, well, there's a lot of reasons, but the, the, the biggest reason is it will corrode any gimmick. If you've ever done a salt pour, salt will corrode a gimmick. If you own a car and live by the sea, you will know this. So he doesn't use salt, he uses something else that is actually much easier to get, because as we all know, when you do salt pour, everybody recommends popcorn salt. Well, it can be hard to get. There are some countries, in fact, a lot of countries that don't have popcorn salt. In Canada, it's very hard to find popcorn salt. We have to import it from the States. Uh, but now he explains in detail what to use instead of salt. And this is really a huge plus because you can now be anywhere in the world and get the ingredients that he uses. And actually, it's much better for the poor as well. Uh, so now, so that's the first thing, is, is the actual salt itself. The gimmick itself, itself is very different. It holds a lot of salt, but the gimmick is designed in a way that it can actually be put anywhere on the body. And he explains it, and it comes with some extra pieces that enable you to do this. So you can steal it, you can show your hands. Ruben's performance is really terrific on this, uh, on this, and he goes step by step of how to do it. It's really well done. In the deluxe version, he goes into more detail. But in the general, this uh, version here, um, he, he shows his routine, really great routine, the handling of it. Uh, there were some extra people come in and, and, and share some ideas. But this is, um, the gimmick itself in here is really well made. It's a very, uh, it's not heavy. Uh, and and um, you can, he shows you the techniques he uses. The nice thing about this is it can be, uh, it can have the salt in it. Not that you're going to do this, but you can throw it in the air and the salt won't come out. You can actually control the salt. So you can open the gimmick if you like once you once you put the salt in you can open and close it at any time and then you have the options of the salt can come from the hand from the top sorry it can come from the bottom for a long pour and then you can open and close both hands so that's a really uh, an advantage over this also another big thing is the gimmick which i think is really important uh, most gimmicks that are out there and again salt the salt pour i've been, i spent over 30 years working on it um, 
and uh, I think I've even made my own versions. I've had every version on the market out there. I, I have a box of salt pour gimmicks. Uh, this one and the best ones are the ones that are black in color and, and there's lots of reasons for this. The flesh colored ones uh, don't make sense, never have, but those that have created them in black uh, make a lot of sense because if when you're doing a salt pour you want to perform it against something dark, uh, something dark. and so uh, maybe a suit or, or, or a t-shirt or something um, and so the gimmick will be hidden a lot better if it's in fact black and so Ruben's one is in fact it's it's They've made it in black, so that's a real bonus as well. Another thing that Ruben talks about, the tutorial is really good. The tutorial is really well done. You get the tutorial in both. In the, um, in the deluxe version, it's a bit more in-depth. But certainly everything you need to know for salt pour will be in this. Another really important, uh, important aspect of this, one of the most important things in all of this, especially the deluxe version, is Ruben spends time talking about lighting. Now, this is really, really important, and he has a great example of this where he flashes a light um, through the salt and uh, just a flashlight and then it goes from a without the flashlight it's a, it's a single stream and when the flashlight hits it it's like this so lighting is probably the most important aspect when doing a salt pour and he goes into detail about this and I think it's one of the best things on the tutorial so the size of the gimmick I think is pretty important as well as I said it's it's really nicely shaped has a nice shape to it uh, there's some things built into it that uh, the designed into it that add to the overall ability to make it vanish uh, or get out of the way really easily. So the deluxe version I really like. Uh, it comes with extra bits and pieces. Uh, as I said, it comes with a special special salt shaker as well. You've got some extra pieces in here in, included in the box. More than the uh, comes with lots of extra things that you don't get in the in the other version. As I said, they both use the same gimmick, so if you are like me and you want the deluxe version plus the other version, because I like to do two different salt pours, uh, then it, you can just buy you can buy the deluxe and then get the other one. So you're going to have lots of extra bits of business. So there's lots of ways you can present the salt pour as well, in a parlor setting or a stage setting. Uh, it's nothing I would do close up, of course. So you want to you know keep that distance. You also want to look at what you're wearing is really important. Uh, the white against the white salt pouring against the the black as I said you want to have that contrast so it stands out you want to look at your lighting all these things Ruben talks about on the tutorial it does take practice in fact if you want to get it down really well you really want to do work so if you're prepared to put the work into anything uh, you're going to end up with something that you'll you'll have forever the gimmick is extremely well made if you use the ingredients that Ruben talks about instead of salt of course as we talked about it won't rust I think that's really super important to stress um, but it is something that you'll need to put into practice you're not going to get it straight away and perform it the next day uh, if you do please get out of magic uh, but it certainly is something that you're going to want to work on the music on the choreography and and as I said Ruben has some beautiful techniques with this he also isn't able to show you um, to do uh, to do that to do it uh, showing both hands very very cleanly empty both and both before and after the presentation he's got some unique handling on the salt pour which i think is very valuable and a lot of fun to perform as somebody who's been doing a salt pour i found some of these techniques really great and a great addition to the salt pour so ruben has added a lot i think a lot to the salt pour is this the last word on the salt pour it possibly could be when you see the routine and you see the thought and the steps and procedure that has gone into this, I certainly think it is. Uh, I'm not sure how you can even uh, advance what he's come up with. This to me is the best salt pour I've seen, in, and I have a huge collection. I think I've bought every one, um, both in shape and size. I really love this, and, and you can get a lot of salt out of this version.